Three Alabama thugs pepper Ron Marine with ten too many bullets, live to give them brutal payback. And today's feel-good story of the day comes all the way from down in Theodore, Alabama. One of most, if not the most, right-wing leaning states of the Union. A 62-year-old Marine Corps veteran who is currently battling colon cancer heard a knock on his door this past Thursday afternoon. As he went to answer it he had no clue he was about to have the fight of his life. Three thugs who were attempting to rob him shot him through his door window. The thugs used a 12-gauge shotgun loaded with buckshot which is normally used for hunting deer. This type of ammo thankfully isn't as deadly to people as other types of ammo that can be used in a 12-gauge shotgun or dot the retired Marine Michael Irving was hit and quickly reached for his own gun. He shot the shooter, but as he lay on the ground one of his two other accomplices reached for the shotgun, so he shot that thug too. The second thug he had just shot begged Irvin not to shoot him again, so he replied to him to drop the gun. The punk didn't so Irvin shot him again. After shooting both he looked over and saw a third punk trying to shoot him with a handgun that had fortunately jammed, so he shot her too. Now that's what I call a fun afternoon don't you think? Fox 10 reports. I didn't want to have to kill him, veteran talks about shooting suspected burglars. A Marine Corps veteran is telling Fox 10 News how he got out of a violent burglary alive. It's a follow up to a story we brought you as breaking news Thursday night, when a homeowner shot three suspected burglars in Theodore after they shot him first. The homeowner is 62 year old Michael Irving. Fox 10 News reporter Devin Kofaro sat down with him once he got home from the hospital Friday afternoon. I didn't even know them, said Irving. Why me? Why shoot me? Irving was still in disbelief as he walked into his home, blood still covered the ground, and there was a bullet hole in both his door and his arm. For him, the last 24 hours have been almost unreal, and it all started with the tap on his door. I walked right here to open the door, and that's when he shot me right there. They cut loose on me, and that's when I went to the cabinet here and back behind the coffee was an old-time pistol, said Derving. I opened the door and smoked him. Mobile County Sheriff's deputies say on the other side of that door armed with a shotgun and a handgun were Chastity Jalabhan, Casey Reagan, and Joseph Hathcock. Investigators say it was an attempted robbery, and clearly they chose the wrong house. Irving managed to shoot and injure all three of them. I tried not to shoot any of them in the chest. I didn't want to have to kill them. Two of the suspects fled and left one woman behind, but they didn't make it very far. They eventually had to stop at a Dollar General two miles away and wait for help. All three suspects were first taken to the hospital for their injuries and then arrested. As for Irving, he's being hailed as a local hero for defending himself. He was outnumbered, outgunned, and has been battling colon cancer for the past two years. He says you never mess with the former Marine. I learned that in the Marine Corps dash react and do before you get scared, said Irving. He was robbed a few weeks ago, targeted for his cancer medication. Deputies believe that robbery was committed by at least one of the same three suspects. After that incident, Irving installed new plexiglass on his door, something he believes helped save his life. Where the bullet hole is, you can see how thick that glass is and that's what saved me, because it slowed down the buckshot enough. Irving says someone up above must have been watching over him. If I hadn't have moved just a little bit, it would have hit me in the chest and sternum and caught me in the heart, in the heart. 